What's up YouTube, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on UI alert views and how we can add text fields into them. If you haven't seen my alert view tutorials, the first one can be found here. Um, I've got an example here to show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, so here's our old project and as we click generate alert, we now have a text field here and we can type in whatever we want. So hello and click done and the label will turn to hello. And as you can see, it deletes our text for us, so we don't need to do anything. And it has a placeholder here that says enter response. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be making. Um, so if we just open up our alert view project and uh, we can get started. So yeah, we can go straight away to the dot .h. And uh, we don't need an outlet, but we just need a text field. So we can just go in here and go UI text field uh, field. And we can call that. I don't know, alert text field. And once we've done that, we can go into the dot M. And uh, in here, we don't need these buttons in the action because uh, they will take up space. So go in here and delete the buttons. And we can change the cancel button title to done because this time we want it to say done rather than bad. Um, so save that. And then um, go outside of this brackets below the other button titles. And now we're going to set up our text field in the alert. So if you open up square brackets and go test alert, uh, which is the alert we made up here. Um, and now we're going to go add text field with value. And then it's going to be colon at quote marks, quote marks. And then it's going to be label colon at quote marks quote marks and then end the square brackets semicolon now what these quote marks means it means um, that in this one here in the add with value that means it's going to be the actual text so in the text field that I showed you in my example it had just a faded out one that didn't really mean anything just told you what you're supposed to do whereas if you put uh, text in this one it actually appear as proper text in the text field uh, that can be deleted. Um, so we don't want that, we want a placeholder as it's also called and we can just go enter response here like that. So that basically is going to appear in the text field. Now we need to add our text field that we made in uh, interfa in the dot .h into our uh, alert. So in here we can just go alert text field space equals space open square bracket test alert again and then it's going to be text field make sure you get your spelling perfect and capitals perfect at index colon and now it's going to be zero close square brackets and uh, semicolon now what this is doing is getting our text field that we made in dot h and adding it to our test alert with the number or the integer uh, zero. As I said in my other video, every single button has a integer starting at zero. Um, and what we're basically doing, we're making the text field a the integer zero. Um, so now we need to set up our text field and what keyboard it's going to have and its properties. So if we go in here, I'm going to go alert text field dot keyboard type space equals space, UI, keyboard, type, alphabet. Um, you can have loads of these guys. If, if we just delete the alphabet and press escape, you can see all the different ones you can have. Um, so can, you can play around with them if you want and uh, see which ones you like best for what you're using. Um, but at the moment, alphabet's gonna be the best because they're gonna be typing in words. So semicolon that. So press enter again and go alert, not label, text field, dot, Yep, dot clears on begin editing space equals space yes um, now what that does that basically means if they begin editing delete everything that's in the text field um, so as you saw in my example when I clicked on the alert everything that was in there beforehand had been deleted which is useful because you don't want them having to delete everything and then retyping it in because that's a bit annoying um, so next one alert text field dot clear button mode, there you go, space equals space, and that's going to be UI text field view mode while editing. Press enter, 
And what that does, that basically adds the X button on the side of the text field so people can tap it and delete whatever they put in if, if they entered it wrong or something. Um, so that that's a quite useful one to know. And then the last one is going to be alert. I keep putting the label. Alert text field dot keyboard appearance space equals space UI keyboard oops UI keyboard board appearance alert and that basically changes the keyboard from the default one which is if I delete that and press escape you can see default to alerts meaning it's slightly see-through just like the alert so it kind of fits in with the theme now we need to set the labels uh, text to the text field so if we go down here to our void clicked button at index method and delete all the else if statements so we're just left with one if statement uh, now we need to change this from bad to done because we named it done over there um, and now we need to do some really basic code and that's just to say the alert label dot text equals the alert text field dot text um, and that's really simple code if you don't understand that then I don't even know how I'm supposed to explain it to you so basically when the user clicks done the labels text is going to equal the text fields text so that means whatever they've typed in um, so there you go guys that's all the code we need we don't need to go into interface builder because it's all generated by code here um, so now we can build a run and see our alert so here's the simulator here and uh, there's our thing and if we click generate alert outputs our, um, our alert view, just forgot what it was called then, um, and we can type in anything, uh, hello, and it will change to hello, but seeing as it's asking me a question, I might as well answer it, so fine, thanks. Uh, if I click enter, you see that um, the keyboard disappears, um, so that's another thing that will happen. Um, so there you go, guys, <laughs> just a quick tutorial on how to make alert views with text fields in them. Hope that helped and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my other tutorials.